welcome back everyone in this video lecture we are going to see how to use counters in plc programming configuration done it's okay program ld okay so this is the first run okay you can see here it comes with the program and okay so now i'm going to take if you have to give the pulses to the counter we need a contact i'm going to make it to be as pulses I have an address called input address is to be percentage i x 0, 0. and we need output I'm going to give the name out with the address percentage qx 0.0 so now we need a counter function block user defined standard missing over here CTU count up. Okay. I'm going to drag that count over here. Then this is one. No need of address. We said has to be like return to be at it supports. Previously set values to be suppose if it is counted five times it will be made okay. Right. Now we have to make project built zero error zero in online login. Right. We'll see here the pulses is false, output is also false. You can see here the counter parameters they are indicating as to be the reset is false, PV is 5, Q is false, current value is also 0. So it should be equal to the previous value or preset value, then the output Q will be 1. For that purpose, we have to give the pulses 5 times actually, F7. You can see here the CV current value is to be 1. Okay, now again the next pulse. CV is equal to 2 now, right, if I press again F7, CV is 3, I have to double click, click at each time and pressing the F7 at each time, this is 4, now you can see here, now the CV current value is 5, Q output is true, so whenever we say that we are counting something in the PLC programming, it will get counted by using counter up and when it reaches to the defined value or we can say preset value then the output will be 1 so it will tell that if suppose I have to fill 1000 bottles in a bottle filling plant water all milk if it is done the count is done 1000 then it will say that the 1000 count is completed it will buzzer the alarm or it will make the LED on or it will make the plants to be stopped so this is the way we can use counter